After hiding out since his father's death, Perry has decided it's time to face the consequences of his actions and turns himself into police and home and away this week. He was only acting in self-defense, Perry tells Rose when he arrives at the police station, but she places him under arrest, charged with Carl's murder. Frightened and confused, Perry faces an uncertain future, but he wants to be the man Tane has been teaching him to be and own his actions. He also needs to face his very mixed feelings about what has happened. His immediate feeling was relief, almost as if he had been liberated of this horrible devil-like burden he'd been cursed with. As he stared into the pool where his father lay face down, he knew the only family he has had been killed by his own hands. But he's not alone, Tane assures him when he visits Perry on the morning of his bail hearing. Tane stands by Perry as he hands himself into the police at the station. Tane is devastated with Perry's predicament, but will this be goodbye forever? Tane was also facing jail recently, he reminds Perry, but thanks to friends who stood by him, he got through it. Together, they'll fight this all the way, he insists. It's a lot for Perry to take in, but he's relieved to know his friends have his back. Perry is a deer in the headlights, Cantona says. What happens next to him?